welcome to the CEC e lectures in Gurukul. Today, we would try to understand the basics of strategic management. We are going to get introduced to the concept of strategic management and we are also going to understand how do we go for a strategic thinking. As we said, in any kind of business enterprise, whether it is the startup enterprise, whether it is a new business idea based enterprise, whether it is a unicorn or whether it is a multinational firm, every each and every entity has to have a strategy. What is a strategy? We need to understand and what is a strategic management. We need to get introduced to this concept so that we can have more and more input, more and more aligned effort in getting the success for our firms. There are a few questions that we would be looking forward to answer. One, trying to understand what is a strategy. Second, we would try to know what does it mean to think strategically. And all the more, by mapping the strategic management journey, we would also try to understand what is the value of strategic thinking? Now, before understanding the strategy, let's try to know if you have any idea, any idea related to a question, what is your business? What is your business based upon what exactly is the industry? Is the product, is the market that you are looking forward to cater to? Secondly, what is the state of affairs of your business? How well are you doing? How well you are doing with respect to the growth of your market? How well you are doing with respect to the dynamics of your market and your consumers, and your competitors, and your ecology. What is the state of affairs of a business? And in the context, it is not the business only for today. You are doing business to remain into the business for a very long period of time. And therefore, are you sure what will be your business in coming time? Because things are changing very rapidly. Yesterday, when a company was into the business of sending product from one place to another, it said that I am into the logistics business. But today, the same company has grown itself to be a web-based company with logistics as one of the business where 74% of the revenue of that business comes from the AWS. Yes, I am talking of Amazon. What was the business of Pantaloon? in the initial period and what is the business that they have now. Of course, we all know that Pantaloon is a struggling or rather struggled hard. But then in the meantime, they had redrafted their business. What was the business of Reliance and what is it and what it would be? So, do you have any idea what your business will be? Do you have any idea about your business, where it is going to lead to you? 
and in fact do you know what business means yes it's a very categorical question do you have any idea in fact what is the business are you in the business of transaction or are you in the business of creating value or are you in terms of developing the future of a community area geography nation or the world so do you know what is the business that you are in and what exactly the business is do you understand by now what the business is and do you know what is the suitable condition for your business to keep on going and for keeping you sustainable let's take a very small example again if i have started a small enterprise of communication devices are we very sure that i will be able to continue providing those devices and doing the transaction and creating value for my stakeholders forever will the dynamic conditions of the competitions will allow me to keep on continuing my business will the dynamic conditions of the regulations will be suitable for me forever last 3 years have shown us that we can never be sure of the suitable condition for our businesses and therefore i have to maneuver with reference to the dynamics the changes in the external environment as well as the internal environment and therefore we need to have an idea and that is where the question is do you have any idea where and what your business is and therefore there is another question that leads to will there be a suitable condition for your business will i be having all my signals green at all the time wherein i can continue with my plan of action for my business will there be suitable condition will my board plan will have exactly the same situation at the ground level when we will come to the implementation of my board plan so will there be a suitable condition which you can wait for wherein you can launch your product where you can carry out your acquisitions where you can take over the competition where you can understand your consumers where you can think of creating value based upon your business for the society or for the nation so will there be a suitable condition for your business and if yes then what is your plan of action and if no then what is your bigger plan of action in fact the question is do you have any plan of action and therefore the question is do you have any strategy and for that we need to have an understanding of what is a strategy let's understand what a strategy is a strategy is a word that has been derived from a greek word called strategos which means a general well the strategos it meant to plan the destruction of one's enemies through effective use of resources we always have resources which are limited to us and of course limited in terms of many ways in terms of our ownership in terms of our accessibility in terms of its accessibility 
and availability on this planet. So, the strategy was to take over the enemies and destroy it with the best use of the resources. And henceforth, henceforth, the plan of action which was required in order to utilize the resources to win over the enemies was the strategy. In Bharatiya context, the term strategy has a perfect, perfect translation called as Raniti. Mind you, there are two terms, two letters. One is called Ran, another is Niti. The Ran Niti is related to how are we going to win the war? A plan of action which is easily communicated to the last soldier and they know their activity and the actions for the utilization of the resources at their end in a coordinated and planned manner so that they can win the war. Now, you can ask a question, if business is a war? Now, it depends on how you believe so. If business is not a war, it is nothing less than the power of winning over to the objective that you have set for yourself. A strategy is to achieve the objective and a strategy is to realize the goal that you have set for yourself. We have a nation's strategy, we have a corporate strategy, we have a military strategy and we have a business strategy. We will try to understand and therefore, based upon the context, based upon the understandings, there are many different definitions which are available or which are possible for defining a strategy. In the words of Professor Fred David, a strategic management, it is defined as an art and science of formulating, implementing, evaluating the cross-functional decisions that enable an organization to achieve its objectives. Mind you, we said, the key terms are the achievement of the objectives, the act of formulating, implementing and evaluating, the functional decisions which are helpful in achieving the objectives. One of the earliest definitions by Alfred Chandler, Professor Alfred Chandler in the corporate strategy is about defining a strategy as the determination of basic long-term goals and the adoption of the course of actions and the allocation of the resources necessary for carrying out these goals. The basic terms to understand here are, the keywords are the basic long-term goals, the adoption of the course of action and the allocation of the resources to carry out the predetermined goals. So, strategy is to achieve the goals based upon the allocation of the resources with a defined course of action. Michael E. Porter in The Competitiveness of the Nations and with the theory of competitive advantage, he 
defined strategy as a broad formula, broad formula of how a business is going to compete. Going to compete, what its goal should be and what policies will be needed to carry out those goals. So basically, according to him, a strategy is the combination of ends, that is the goals, for which the firm is striving and the means by which, the policies by which it is seeking to get there. Professor Richard Rimmelt, in the recent times, he talks about the good strategy as a coherent mix of policy and actions which are designed to surmount a high stake challenges. Now, high stake challenges are the big goals, the long term objectives that we have set for ourselves. Creating and providing vaccination to all the Indians was a high stake challenge taken up by the government of India. Now, all the actions in terms of achieving this right from ensuring the availability of the resources and creating an action plan for achieving this objective required a strategy. So, Professor Richard Rimmelt, he talks about the coherence of the policy and action. So, whatever we have designed and whatever action that we have, they need to be in synchronization with each other. Therefore, based upon the understanding of all the definitions that we have discussed right now, how can we define a strategy? One thing for sure is that a strategy is related to unifying the idea of linking the purpose with the action. So, there has to be the sync of defining the purpose and the action for achieving that purpose. And therefore, Witt and Meyer, David Meyer and Meyer in 1998, they gave a very specific statement related to strategy, which says, a strategy is any course of action for achieving an organization's purpose. I repeat, a strategy is any course of action for achieving an organization purpose or purposes. You can ask a question, sir, any course of action? Any course of action? Wait. The course of action which are justifiable, course of action which are within the boundary of the legal framework of the nation, course of action which is morally correct and ethically perfect. So, organizations, they are bound by the justifiable, legal, moral and ethical actions. So, anything beyond this course of action which is not less than justifiable, legal, moral or ethical can be questionable as a right strategy. So, when we are defining a strategy, so we say a strategy is a justifiable, legal, moral and ethical course of action for achieving the organization's purpose. And when we say so, the ethics of the business, the responsibility of the business is to create value for its stakeholders, is to create value for the society, is to create better environment and contribute 
to the prosperity of the ecology. So, strategy is very much bounded by the justifiable, legal, moral and ethical course of actions. One of the famous or much talked about description of a strategy comes through the work of Professor Henry Mintzberg in his book called The Strategic Safari. Professor Henry Mintzberg has talked a strategy as a plan, wherein the strategy is the directed course of action to achieve an intended set of goals, which is similar to the strategic planning concept. A strategy as a pattern, where a strategy is a consistent pattern of past behavior, where a strategy is realized over the time rather than planned or intended, with the realized pattern is different from the intent and therefore many times the strategy is referred as emergent strategy in the pattern. A strategy is a position where we are locating brands, products and companies within the market based upon the conceptual framework of consumers and other stakeholders. A strategy is determined primarily by the factors which are outside the firm and what is the position that the company creates and has in the competitive definition. A strategy is a ploy. A specific maneuver which is intended to outwit the competitor. What tactics do you play? What way and mannerisms that you apply to outwit or overcome the competition at the ground level? And last, a strategy as a perspective where executing a strategy based on the theory of business on natural extinction of mindset or the ideological perspective of the organization is defined. A strategy is never without a perspective. Thank you.